In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is expected monetary value, or EMV? A risk is an uncertainty that can have an impact. And in principle, we can put a measure on both the uncertainty and the impact. Uncertainty is measured by likelihood or probability. And therefore, we measure it on a scale from zero to one, with zero being no probability or no likelihood, and one being an absolute certainty. Therefore, all risks lie somewhere between zero and one, but not at either endpoint. There are many ways that we could measure the impact of a risk, like the delay that the risk could cause, or the number of people affected, or the reputational damage that we incur, or the cost of putting things right. This last one is, of course, the most common of all, because we're humans, and monetary value matters a lot to us. This is the basis of calculating the expected monetary value of a risk. Let's start right at the beginning, the expected value of a risk. We can calculate this by multiplying the probability by the impact. The impact can be measured in a number of different ways, as we've said. And if we multiply that by the probability, we get the expected value of that impact. The expected monetary value is therefore just the value we calculate when the impact is measured in monetary terms. That is a cost in dollars, euros, yen, pounds, or whatever. So we can write a very simple equation that EMV equals likelihood times cost impact. However, in the real world, we rarely have just one possible impact. Instead, we have a number of possible outcomes, each of which has a different impact and a different probability associated with it. Let's call the different costs of those impacts C1, C2, C3, and so on. And let's refer to the different probabilities or likelihoods of each of those impacts as P1, P2, P3, and so on. The total estimated monetary value is therefore calculated by adding together all of the individual EMVs. That is, the total EMV is P1 times C1 plus P2 times C2 plus P3 times C3 and so on. Mathematicians would use a suffix I to represent a generalized probability or cost and show that the total EMV is the sum, that's the Greek letter sigma there, of all of those multiples. However, with this fancy mathematical language, all I am doing is finding a simpler way to write that continuing sum of P1C1 and P2C2 and so on. We can also use expected monetary value to support our decision-making processes. We can assume that any single event, like a decision, can have a number of possible outcomes. The total probability of all those possible outcomes will necessarily add up to one. And to help us, we can draw a cause and effect tree to help us calculate the EVM for each of the outcomes. If the event is a decision, then what we have is a decision tree. Here, the EVMs represent the expected monetary values for each decision option. And therefore, the option with the highest expected monetary value is likely to be the best option for your decision. To summarize, EMV is a quantitative risk analysis tool. We can use it to evaluate the total risk associated with an activity in a project to compare alternative scenarios or options, to contribute to a business case, to calculate a prudent financial contingency for either an activity or a whole project, 
to evaluate how much cost or resource it would be prudent to allocate to risk management for either an activity or a project, or to assess which choice is going to be likely to be best when faced with a number of options. However, as with all quantitative risk management approaches, the results you get are only ever going to be as good as the assumptions and the estimates that you feed into the model. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.